Hi everyone, Zach here, and welcome to the RTS Tutorial Series Remaster in Unreal Engine 5. In this video, we'll be setting up our project. So open your Epic Launcher, and let's make a start. Alright, so here we are inside the Epic Launcher, and if you don't already have Unreal 5, hit the plus sign, click the drop down, and select the newest version which should be at the top and that should be Unreal 5. Once you have that installed resume the video and go ahead and hit launch. With the launcher open we're going to go to game we're going to go to top down we will do it in blueprint we will leave it at desktop we will go for preset of, ma of well scalable and I'm going to put this in well not the battle royale that will come later we will put this in our RTS tutorial series. There we go. And I'm just going to name this RTS tutorial. All right. And hit create. And I'll see you in a moment. Okay. So the project's launched. I'm going to dismiss the plugins. I will do the update. And just to make sure everything is working correctly, I'm going to hit play real quick. And there we go. I can move the character around. Mannequin's a bit new. I like that. All right, so there we go, we have that working. So what we're gonna do now is just organize our folders. So you might notice, hey, we don't have our content folders like before. Well, if we click this content drawer, there we go. And if we click it away, it goes away. Now you can lock this into place. To get the content browser to stay, go to Window, Content Browser, Content Browser 1. Now I like having this, this is just a me thing, I guess. So here we have different folders, we have all, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into content and in content. I am going to right click and I'm going to add a new folder called maps. I'm going to add another new folder called animations, another new folder that I'll call core, one that I will call materials, one that I will call meshes, and then one that I will call textures. So I'm just going to open up a second content browser to make my life a little bit easier. And in content browser 2, I'm going to go to character, I'm going to go to mannequin, and I'm just going to take the meshes folder here, go into our meshes folder we've created and create a character subfolder. And I'm just going to move all of that into there. There we go. Let it move, do its thing. All right, with it moved, I'm going to go back up to the mannequins folder. I'm going to go to materials and I'm going to go back to materials in the original content browser and I'm going to create a new folder called characters and in here I'm going to just move all of these into characters let it do its thing all right when it's done just going to pop open there make sure it's there it is let's go up go to animation create another folder called character here and I'm just going to grab both of these and or both the folders and both the animation blueprints and move them into there. All right, so that's materials, animation, meshes. And, you know, we'll actually, well, we'll create a new folder called rigs. I wasn't sure how I was going to handle this one. And again, we'll do character in here. And then we'll take all of these and move them into there. Let it do its thing, and when it's done, double check the folder. All right, there we go. It's moved into there. Let's go back to mannequin, and we just have textures left. So let's go back to content, textures, create another folder called character, and let's just, again, move everything in there. Let it do its thing. When it's done, double check the folder. All right, there we go. Let's go there, make sure everything is fine, make sure all these folders are empty, and we're going to just fix up redirectors and folder and do the same for our content and with that done we're going to just delete that we might have to do this one folder at a time though 
Looks like Riggs has not properly moved things around, so we're just going to fix up that redirector. So it looks like three files, the basic foot, body, and procedural U assets have not been moved. I will take care of that between the videos. It doesn't really matter too much. Now, if we want to use the UE4 mannequin, we have that there. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do for the remaining stuff is I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm just going to right click in my content and I'll do a new folder called starter. And I'm just going to move the characters folder into there. So back to content and move character into there and let it do its thing. All right, it is copied over. There's our character. Let's go back to our content. We're going to fix up redirectors. And then I will delete that folder or as much of it as I can. There we go. Again, I'll take care of the mannequin later on. For level prototyping, well, This looks like it's all our starter content for the basic level that we currently have. So I'm just going to move that into our starter folder as well. Our cursor, well, we will take care of that one later on. Let's go to our top down. Let's go back to our content in this browser down here. And let's go to maps. And let's move these maps into the correct folder. And yes, there is a soft reference. We will have to do some changes in a bit to address that. So that's fine. Again, let's fix up redirectors. Let's delete the maps folder. And as for our blueprints, let's go back to content, core, and in here, let's create a folder called player. And we're going to move the top-down controller into there for now. We'll get rid of that down the road. Let's do the same for settings. We're going to move that into there for now. And again, we'll deal with that reference issue in a moment. It'll create one new folder called units and our character will go in there for now. Okay, let's go back up to our content folder. Let's fix up redirectors and then let's go to our top down, make sure it's empty, it is. And let's delete our top down. Okay, that takes us through what we want to do for this part. Let's very quickly then make a new level, which we will do as a basic level. We won't use the open world level just yet. Let's go to basic. There we go. And hey, we have our level. Well, I'm going to get rid of our floor for now. And in here, I'm going to go to select mode and then to landscape. And with this open, I am just going to allow it to create a very simple landscape. I'll let it run its thing and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, with the landscape generated, you don't need to match me perfectly. You just need to have a bit of noise on the terrain. I'm going to just grab the terrain and create some artifacts like mountain ranges of various sizes and heights. There we go. That should be good enough for what we're doing. And then I'm going to create one divot as well. So I'm going to hold on the shift key and I'm just going to create a massive divot. Again, it doesn't need to actually match what will be in the game world. We just need some topography to test our camera with. So that should be enough topography. Now let's go back to select mode. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click this quickly add to projects drop down, and I'm going to type in start and I'm going to grab player start. There we go. And I'm just going to rotate it so it's facing that mountain range. Oh, it already is. So I'm just going to hit play real quick, make sure this works. There we are. We have a floating pawn that really isn't our camera, but hey, we're at where I want us to start. Awesome. And we have some nice volumetric clouds as well. All right, so we're going to save this map. And to save it, I'm just going to go to File, Save Current Level. I'm going to go to Maps. And I'm going to name this as Camera Test Map. There we go. And then I'm going to go to my Edit, Project Settings. And in project settings, I'm going to go to maps and modes, and then I'm going to select my camera test map for both my default starter and default editor. All right. And then from here, that takes us through our project setup.
and the next video we'll begin working on our camera. This project and this series have been brought to you by my Patreon sponsors and if you want to help support this channel all you have to do is hit that like button down below or if you want to take your support a bit further you know you can hit the subscribe and notify icon because YouTube really runs on those things or even further you can become a Patreon sponsor and get access to projects once they're completed at certain tiers and instantly at other tiers. All right I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial and I hope that you have a wonderful day.